Hello there, everybody. This is Cholera, and welcome to a dual commentary that I'm doing right now with my man, Rise. Uh, we're going to be doing what a up? series that was played um, about two weeks ago. We randomly chose this series just because of the players in it. This is uh, Samson Khan versus MBC Hero, played on May 9th, 2009. And in game one here, we've got a... Uh, I don't even know. A Zerg versus Zerg? Is that what this is? Yes, it looks like a Zerg versus Zerg. We've got uh, Great here on the right side by Great. Of course, uh, beating Bisu recently with a proxy barracks. I'm sorry, a proxy hatchery. Um, and you can watch that uh, in my account, actually. Great versus Bisu. And then uh, he's facing off against a guy we've never, we never seen. This is some guy he called Peace, who's uh, probably going to peace out at the end of this because Great is a pretty good Zerg versus Zerg player. It's actually his best matchup. So we're going to see what happens. And then uh, there's going to be a little bit of Beast. There's going to be a little bit of, I can't even talk, Jangby, Stork, and Firebat hero action uh, to follow afterwards. So uh, what do you think about these two players? Do you know anything about Peace? Uh, or am I the only one who doesn't know anything about Peace? No, Peace is definitely a new player that uh, I don't think anyone knows about, nor do they care about, because... Uh, before this game, his record is a whopping 0% win rate. That's right. <laughs> he has a 0% win rate. So we found someone who's actually worse than both Dr. K and Zergbine combined, and if they had kids, worse than their kids. And, I mean, really, this kid, um, maybe he's good in, like, Icy Cup or something, but in the Pro League, he's certainly got nothing on these real pro gamers. And uh, by great is actually pretty good. I mean, he's been playing well lately. Uh, I don't know what his statistics are uh, in the past 10 games or anything like that, but certainly a good player overall, solid, you know? And we, he's actually, I'd, I'd even argue, up and coming. These two players are playing on uh, God's Garden, which is, again, one of the newer maps, although I guess getting less new every time they play it. And, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see a ZVZ on this because of the, the way that these maps work they have that natural expansion inside their base which is so easy to protect so All right. uh, maybe we'll see some uh, 12 12 pools into 12 uh, 12 pools into 11 hatch or however it works I forget I forget how exact the uh, exact drone count or whatever but you know maybe we'll see some more interesting builds and maybe even some more interesting ZVZs but my overall prediction right off the bat and damn you cholera for stealing my pun <laughs> is that peace is gonna peace out <laughs> we've got Peace here, peacing out at uh, lower right. He is the green Zerg, and we've got um, our friend Great at the upper right. He's the purple Zerg. Great at a uh, nice 58% record now. I remember for a while it was nearing 75. I think it was at like 75 for him, but I guess um, that was just uh, you know right out the gate. He was pulling uh, a little bit of a a uh, what you call it a Taza. Uh, so to speak, and, and then, you know, he wasn't uh, so strong afterwards. But um, it looks like we've got ourselves a uh, 12 hatch there from uh, that guy over there, uh, Peace, and against him, I think we've gotten some form of 12 pool or something. So I think uh, this is going to be an interesting game here. Is um, The question is, uh, is, is this economic advantage going to be able to give give Peace enough to beat Great? I don't know. I mean, both of them have weird one-syllable one uh, kind of like abstract names so it's a battle of great versus peace and there's C versus stork two players who both are uh, very nice looking guys so they're very nice guys and they're very uh, I don't know what to say they're just nice people I think <laughs> that's ridiculous they're both much better than peace that's all we know and C actually is the teammate of peace and so he's probably hoping he's probably watching peace going come on man win a goddamn game man what are we paying you for and He's, uh, he's probably thinking about how he's Janitorial going to Janitorial services. Shard. Yeah, he's going to probably do some uh, do some sharding later and make uh, <laughs> Peace clean up his underwear. But anyway, it looks like Peace is going for that lair. He's going to start getting his uh, Spire tech up most likely, uh, considering that's all you ever see in ZVZs. Unless you watch a game that we just did recently, which uh, you should definitely do. Uh, me and Diggity just cast a game, but uh, I'm gonna I don't know watch that. going to come out first. So yeah, <laughs> if it's out already, watch it. If it's not out, It'll be out soon and go watch it. Both players producing some lings, and it looks like they're going to definitely 
uh, trying to put some pressure on each other. Typical builds, everything's pretty standard looking so far right now. Um, but does Peace have that uh, second expansion? It looks like he does. I, I don't know uh, if he's got a, an extractor yes. down on it or not already. Uh, but, bo but both players certainly going to be looking to, to collect a lot more gas. So we may actually see uh, more intense air battles than normal because, again, because of the way this map is going to play out, I think we're going to see a lot more of, in ZVZs anyway, a lot more of uh, quick, uh, well, two hatch builds, I guess, which normally it takes a little while to build them. And Spires are going down now for at least one of the players. It looks like Peace is actually a little bit ahead at this point in getting a Spire up, but uh, Spire about to go down for great so great's gonna be in great shape oh look at that <laughs> i think uh well I, I think one of us has got the colors mixed up i think you, we're thinking great is pink right and peace is green so that's where i'm looking at from the names on top you know hero and all that mbc hero so anyway w w the the green player is uh peace and looks like um great is slightly ahead uh here with his does that mean he's spire. green peace Oh! He's Green oh, Peace! There you go! <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, well, <laughs> neither of them is actually very far ahead, but uh, th that's because we saw a 12 pool, of course, coming from Great. Um, Great has gotten his extractor up already, and so has uh, Peace. In fact, they've gotten their second extractors up about the same time, and neither of them has really made any kind of uh, motion, you know, forward with their lings or anything like that. So, really, I think right now, um, Peace should be in a slightly stronger position. Now Peace moving out with uh, his lings, his green Peace lings, and uh, we'll see if he can do anything here against by Great. Um, you know, Peace really should be slightly ahead this entire game, because what he did was a 12 hatchery versus a 12 pool. It was an unharassed 12 hatch, so... Uh, uh, theoretically, he should be up about one or two drones. Um, and right now, he's going to sacrifice his advantage by running up the ramp with a couple of lings at a time. And uh, <laughs> not doing a very good job of, of this. Wow, this is actually some pretty poor um, decision-making here from uh, Peace, I got to say. Um, well, he is trying to force his way up. Okay, he actually has gotten his way up, but he, the way of doing it that he, he chose really did not uh, allow him to to get up that many lings. I mean, I think he lost more lings than he needed to. And in any case, we've gotten ourselves a sunken colony from by Great. Peace, though, moving into the natural expansion of Great. And if he can take out some drones here, uh, we're going to have to take back what we said about him because, uh, uh, well, nope, looks like he got one drone. And let's see uh, what he has inside of his base to defend against the mulisks of by Great. Well, if they ever show us, we can find out. So, all right. Great is purple and peace is green. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this right by the end of the match. Yes. I swear. <laughs> Although I don't, frankly, I don't really care about peace all that much, so I don't care if I get him wrong. Anyway, it looks like great already's got a pretty decent amount of muta and some scourge out, whereas we're just seeing muta so far from peace. So peace is uh, definitely gonna be a little bit behind. We'll have to see if he has some Jadong muta micro and can pull something out. But uh, I can only, I can only assume that he doesn't with his zero percent win rate. Um, and either, in either case, you know, it's. It's going to come down to, with this air battle, basically superior Muta Micro. And by great, considering he's been playing great, uh, I, I just have to assume uh, that he's going to be in a better position. And he's got 10 Scourge out now. So he's going to be doing some serious cloning. And, uh, you know, he could end it pretty quickly if he lands the majority of those Scourge. But it looks like he's actually going to wait a little bit. Uh, Peace actually doing something pretty smart here. He's going in for it with a couple of Lings as well. And he's actually microing the Scourge pretty well. I think he took a couple of hits, but nothing. Uh, to write home about really and it looks like he's still got a scourge of his own which isn't doing anything that gets taken out oh. and now now he's going to be forced back with a ton of scourge chasing him and uh and and really i mean if, if he doesn't take out those scourges he's going to be in, in, in a pretty decent uh he's actually going to be in a lot of trouble if he doesn't take out those scourges if he does take out those scourges he'll be in a pretty decent position because so much was invested on those scourges and now he is taking out a lot of scourges but at the same time it looks like he's just got less mutas and he's taking a good amount of hits from the mutas of great so i I don't know if uh, if he's reinforcing well or not. I mean, he is fighting on Great's turf, which is going to make it uh, more difficult for him to, to reinforce versus Great's basically got no distance at all to travel from both hatcheries to reinforce. And now he does reinforce with another three or four Muta, and it looks like he's going to go in for the attack uh, once again. So at the very least, Peace is not quite so peaceful. I mean, he's very uh, aggressive in this match, and I'm a little surprised about it. But uh, maybe, maybe he shows some promise after all. 김태우 선수가 많은데
Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, uh, considering that the builds are so similar, it really is more of a, a mirror, you know, just a, a complete mirroring here. We're going to have to see who has the better balance of Mulisks um, and who can who can really micro. And so far, I haven't seen that from Peace, to be honest. Uh, and right now, we're going to see whether he can do it over his own territory. Can he manage to kill all these Scourges? The question. He's actually doing a decent, a slightly better job than he was before. It does look like um, he's running away, though because, uh, of course, of all the Scourge there. But at the same time, he's going to leave himself a little bit undefended here. He's losing his Gastron as natural expansion. There go two of them. And now let's see what he can do under pressure here. Uh, he's taking a lot of shots from the Mutalisks. I don't think he can afford to take all these shots. I think he should just um, should have just attacked the, the clump of Mutalisks while he, he still had some uh, because he's taken way too many shots, I think, from By Great, who's just been relentless. And, uh, oh, By Great going to sandwich them in here. Go! A couple more Scourge. And obviously, Peace is about to peace out. He obviously does not have the Mulus Micro of By Great. I mean, really, you could just tell he, they had the same amount of gas, no differences in timing, and now you can just see the results. I mean, Great has a lot of Mutas, and Peace doesn't. You know, what would we do if Peace actually won this? We'd have no good puns if he won this. I mean, if Great wins, we got Great Game. And if. <laughs> <laughs> if if peace <laughs> loses, he's got peace out. So it just worked out perfectly that he does GG, and uh, that means great game. That's right. All right, I'm I'm done with puns for this match. Okay. I'm gonna throw up. If oh, you do that's anymore. horrible. So uh, <laughs> GG, <laughs> GG. And uh, I guess what we could say is, is it just me or does does great look kind of like he's trying to imitate Bisu? He's got kind of like a Bisu hairstyle there, and kind of a Bisu lack of expression on his face. Yeah. A, so, a little bit, uh, a little bit, right? And there's there's Frozian, Frozian keeping his hat on to prevent himself from being <laughs> cold, I guess. Why does he have a hat on? I have no idea. We won't find out in the next game, <laughs> but we will watch. Uh, hopefully, a game that's a little more exciting than this one. Um, it's gonna be, uh, I believe, C versus Stork. I think is gonna be uh, game two, I believe, or game three. But we'll find out. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 